If you're lying in bed having trouble sleeping, then there's this one technique that will have you asleep within two minutes. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a list of things to do that will help you to fall asleep within minutes using your six senses. Let's get into it. From when we're born, each person has different genetics, which makes it easier or harder to fall asleep. Some babies are just born good sleepers and others have difficulties, which goes on through to our adult lives. Whilst we can't change our genetics, there are some things you can do which will make it easier for you to sleep. I'm gonna break it down into the six senses. Most of us already know that we should be awake during the day and asleep at night. But why is this? Light exposure and the different types of light is the number one most important factor that affects our circadian rhythm. Our circadian rhythm is the body's internal clock that tells us when we should be awake or sleeping. Exposure to natural sunlight as soon as possible when you get up, ideally within one hour of waking, is key to regulating your circadian rhythm and promoting wakefulness. If you don't have access to sunlight, for example, if you live in Westeros and winter has come, a good alternative is using a light therapy box. Or if you don't want to make that investment, then just turning on all the lights in your house. However, sunlight is always going to be the best source as it is stronger in lux and contains a broad spectrum of light, particularly blue light. People who are blind and who have no perception of light often have trouble regulating their body's circadian rhythm as it is missing this vital signal for the body to reset. When the sun goes down and it gets dark, our body produces the hormone melatonin which signals to our body that it's time to reset. Artificial lights often emit blue light, as do electronic devices such as mobile phones and computers. If you can, avoid electronic devices two to three hours leading up to bedtime. But if you can't, then change your electronic devices to night mode, which will help to reduce the blue light. Switch to using warm colored lights in the evening, such as red lights. And when you're in bed, Block out all light. Use block out blinds and cover all lights, including the ones coming from your chargers. Personally, I use an eye mask every night, which I used to find really uncomfortable until I found these contoured ones, which don't touch your eyes. A massage late in the day has been found to be beneficial in helping you to sleep quicker, as well as improving the quality of your sleep. If you're lucky enough to have someone who can give you a massage, just make sure they do it for at least three minutes. Acupressure is another technique that can help with your sleep problems. This is an ancient Chinese medicine therapy that applies pressure to certain points. There are six pressure points that can help you to sleep. Now let's talk about temperature. A rapid decrease in core body temperature of just half a degree can help you to sleep quicker. The best way to do this is to take a bath or shower in the evening which will help to drop your body temperature as well as helping you to relax. Keep the room temperature around 18 degrees celsius or 65 degrees fahrenheit. If you're over 65 it may be beneficial to have the room temperature between 20 to 25 degrees celsius but this is also person dependent. Weighted blankets has also been found to help improve sleep especially if you have ADHD, ASD or suffer from anxiety. You've probably already heard of white noise, which is that continuous staticky noise when you're changing the radio station. Pink and brown noise produces sounds such as rainfall and oceans, which can help to relax you and improve your sleep. This is especially good if you live in a noisy area to drown out any sounds that might keep you awake, such as dogs barking, car alarms, or a partner snoring. The other type of sound that has been found to help you sleep is binaural beats. This is when there are two different frequencies playing in the two different ears. And what our brain perceives is actually a different frequency. For example, if one ear is listening to a frequency of 300 hertz and the other ear is listening to 303 hertz, then the binaural beat will be 3 hertz. For sleep, listen to binaural beats in the delta frequency range, which is between 1 and 4 hertz. This will start to shift your brain waves towards that frequency. You can find binaural beats everywhere in places like YouTube and Spotify. You will need to wear headphones and make sure not to turn out the sound too loud so you don't damage your hearing. Certain smells like lavender and chamomile can help to promote sleep. However, other smells such as menthol and peppermint might stimulate you and keep you awake. The easiest way is to add essential oils to an aromatherapy diffuser or a vaporizer. 
In this one we're actually going to talk about certain foods. Certain foods, particularly those containing tryptophan, can help to promote sleep. Tryptophan is an amino acid which increases serotonin in the brain and serotonin plays an important role in the sleep-wake cycle. Foods high in tryptophan include dairy, banana, oats, dried prunes, tuna, cheese, turkey and most other proteins. And you probably already know this but caffeine can make it harder for some people to sleep. So avoid caffeine too late in the day. For someone like me who's really sensitive to caffeine, if I have a coffee after 12 p.m. midday then I'll be up till 5 in the morning. An association of your bed with things other than sleep can actually disrupt your sleep. Try to keep your bedroom just for sleep and relaxing activities. Try to stop work a few hours before bedtime so you have time to relax and avoid stimulating activities such as scrolling through social media. Exercise too close to bedtime can also be stimulating but it is still important to exercise during the day as this can also help to promote sleep. If your mind is thinking about all the things you need to do the next day then writing out a to-do list has actually been shown to help you to sleep faster. If your mind is racing you can try practicing some meditation and breathing techniques such as the 478 breathing technique. This is when you breathe through your nose for four seconds, hold your breath for seven seconds and then breathe out through your mouth with a whooshing sound for eight seconds. When you're doing this focus on your breath. If you have trouble focusing with meditation try listening to a podcast that is interesting enough to keep you focused but not too stimulating. Now remember if you've had a lifetime of insomnia then fixing it probably won't happen overnight. Just like how controlling other conditions such as diabetes takes commitment, good sleep also requires commitment. Now did you know if you don't sleep your body produces a stress hormone called cortisol which then can make it more difficult for you to sleep the next night. Sometimes you may need to take medications or herbal products to help you break this cycle. Now there is a technique called the military method which is supposed to help you fall asleep within two minutes. Relax your face. Slowly relax all the muscles in your face starting with your forehead, eyes, cheeks, jaw and tongue. You can tense them first before you relax them. Drop your shoulders, relax your neck, then shoulders, then let your arms drop to the side of your body one at a time. Inhale and exhale, relaxing your chest. Work your way down the abdomen, pelvis, then your legs one at a time. Clear your mind, focus on a relaxing scenario such as lying in a hammock looking up at the stars or sitting at the beach watching the tumbling waves of the ocean. If you have trouble visualizing a scenario, repeat the words don't think over and over for 10 seconds. <laughs> 